Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Int Yamcha and his performance in the Super Activation Cell Max event. So guys, my usual disclaimer will follow as you should well know by now if you've watched my channel. But the Cell Max event is an event that is best taken on by units that have high levels of damage reduction guard or high levels of evasion or sometimes a combination of at least two of these three mechanics. Cell Max is an event that starts off quite easy uh, and then easy for an end game event starts off quite easy and then moves into slightly more difficult and then into an extremely difficult event. Uh, because of the pacing of this it's kind of difficult for units to simply stack their defense quick enough to handle the raw power of tech cell max. So obviously it's a pretty tough event. Uh, I don't think you should use cell max event to evaluate if a unit's good or bad. It's fun to see how well they do here. It's an indicator of how well they can do in this event or of certain kind of things of their kit. Do they stack fast? Do they have raw base evasion? Do they have raw base guard? Do they have certain things in place? But beyond that, it's really not uh, like 100% necessary to use this event to evaluate a unit. It, it really shouldn't be the, the all-in-one inclusive way to evaluate a unit. Because, you know, quite frankly, it's just not, it, it's not a good way to go. It's not a good way to evaluate anything or, or measure up a unit. Because it can be misleading. Yeah. For example, Yamcha is int, which means he actually already has quite an innate advantage uh, in the Cell Max event comparatively to, for example, a unit that would be Strength. And this is just something you can't really change. It's a functionality of the event itself. Now let's talk about Yamcha, because obviously I think Yamcha is pretty cool, and I think it's going to be interesting to take a look at just how good he is. So here's the thing, uh, Yamcha obviously leads Earthbred Fighters and Saiyan Saga. Uh, Earthbred Fighters is a very good coverage and the fact that he covers Turtle School basically means all the Krillins, uh, Yamchas, Master Roshis and Gokus that you find under the Earthbred Fighters tab are all going to be at 200% which is a pretty good coverage. Uh, as you can see, we're using a Kamehameha based team uh, to use Yamcha, and it's a pretty good team. Uh, it's honestly really solid. Uh, we're also able to intermingle some really, really strong uh, units around here. So yeah, Yamcha himself uh, has what I would call a slightly uh, wonky link set, which is his only real shame. But he does weirdly link pretty nicely with the physical LR Gohan. But only on a couple of links. His main one is his key link, which is why we're using him. But yeah, the big thing is honestly that Yamcha does have a little bit of a wonky key link set. And the other big thing about Yamcha is he relies very heavily on a couple key components of his passive. So Yamcha starts off if you've got five Earthbred Fighters with 150% attack and defense. He then gains an additional attack and defense of 30% with each attack performed, and he has 150% attack and defense as well. He also has a medium chance of performing a crit, which is good. He has a high chance of evading the enemy's attacks, which is good, including their super attacks. And he launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. So all of that's very, very good. Nothing to really be concerned about there. Then he launches another additional attack, there's a high chance of becoming a super attack, within the same turn after evading an attack. Now the big thing here is Yamcha has 50% evasion. So the thing with Yamcha is if Yamcha is placed in the first slot, you have the opportunity for him to evade and then if he evades he could potentially fire 3 super attacks and potentially even 4 super attacks if you have additional from his hidden potential system. which is honestly really quite good. The only thing is, is 50% evasion is not necessarily enough to be super reliant in this first slot. It can kind of be a little bit wonky, and so when it doesn't proc, you can look really, really bad. 
So, yeah. Then, after he's fired a super attack, he gets an additional chance of evasion of 10%. Now, this will add into his 10% that he has. So, for example, if he's got 50% and he fires a super attack, that will then raise to 60%. So, that's kind of the big thing around Yamcha is obviously understanding that you know, when things go right, Yamcha can look incredible. Let's say, for example, an enemy is attacking once before Yamcha attacks, Yamcha evades that attack, and then Yamcha fires all four supers, and then he evades everything else afterwards because he has 90% evasion. He's going to look great there. He's, he's obviously going to look great there, but he's going to look really, really great there. So that is something that's always super important to understand is the dynamic of Yamcha will sometimes look insane and other times like right now where he's getting hit by a super attack he's not going to look good at all. Now the rainbow level he actually has a decent level of defense so at a rainbow or with a dupe or with two dupes he sits at a very solid level of defense that means that he can generally can take normals or at least not die to normals on most difficulties uh, and most events when you have like a 55 percent it's a lot harder for him because his defense has a very like considerable cap he, he doesn't raise his defense beyond a certain point and once the first four turn bonus drops away he can look a little bit wonky like a little bit just a little bit wonky so but overall i think he's good He's a lot of fun to use. There's, like I say, there's turns where he'll pop off and he'll look insane, like insane to the membrane. And then there's times like now where you'll want him to evade super attacks twice in a row and he just won't. And that's just how it is. It, it's a bit of a gamble. But I think overall he's a lot of fun. He's definitely good in the Cell Max event. Uh, so try him out there. Could help you get the win. But that's it from me. Bye.